Hello, my Hi. name is Kelly Diamond, and I'm the Chair Emeritus of Out to Innovate. And I'd like to introduce to you Kat Ellis Guardiola, who was a recipient of the 2020 Ben Barris Fellowship. And Kat is a postdoctoral fellow, is that right? That is correct, yeah. All right, at, at, the U, at UCLA, mm -hmm. um, studying protein chemistry, I believe. So Kat, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about yourself and what your plans are. Well, let's see. So um, I have uh, always dreamed of being being a scientist, like since um, my, like, with some of my earliest childhood uh, <laughs> memories are um, of basically um, setting up pretend uh, experiments with like <laughs> water uh, and Doritos and, you know, anything that you can find in the kitchen, I would mix up into a, <laughs> a test tube and try to come, I don't, I don't know exactly if it was the most hypothesis driven research, but I do know that it was pretty exciting um, for me. Um, and yeah, I think um, what has kind of driven me um, to become a scientist has been more than anything else to kind of try to um, get at uh, the observed, you know, the, try to, trying to make sense of like this world that I've been observing since day one and trying to um, add some order that, <laughs> that I haven't um, had in, um, in how I've uh, conceived of the world. So basically, I guess my, that's a convoluted way of putting that um, I've always kind of been drawn to the truth-seeking exercise that is science. Um, but then also, um, I think more practically, I mean, um, as a kid, I like idolized inventors and um, people who, made, you know, major contributions within science, but then that actually, that actually affected society in, um, in a major way with, um, you know, direct impact as opposed to kind of cloistered. Um, I'm not really a scholar necessarily, I'm more of like a scholar sci, I don't know how to describe myself. I wouldn't say that I'm particularly, um, particularly rigid about my academic background. Um, and instead I try to keep things, you know, even keeled and um, try to keep things practical as well for, uh, for the sake of my lab and the sake of other people. Yeah. Okay. So where do you want to go with your science? What are your plans for the future? Okay. Yeah, so, um, well, so right now actually we are studying um, the, iron acquisition uh, systems that um, are used by Staph aureus, which is the causal agent of MRSA, um, a super common um, hospital acquired infection. Um, and basically these protein, these, uh, these bacteria kind of express these little uh, systems of protein that, uh, proteins on their, on their surface um, that latch onto your hemoglobin uh, in your blood. So that's basically the main store of iron in your body. Um, they'll latch on and then they'll, uh, they'll extract the heme, which is the molecule that contains the iron. Um, and this is a pretty major way of, uh, of uh, major source of iron for um, Staph aureus when it's mounting an infection. Um, and so um, Kind of as a product of this uh, research, um, we actually just filed a patent on um, a hemoglobin fluorophore conjugate that allows us to basic, it's basically fluorescent blood. <laughs> and it basically allows us to watch, um, to track uh, the movement of heme um, and the movement of iron um, subsequently uh, in our, in, in bacterial culture. So it's, um, I think, going to be pretty useful for, uh, for a lot of diagnostic applications. And, um, and really that's kind of, kind of embodies what I have tried to do with science. You know, I don't, I don't want it to just be, you know, stuck in a paper, I want it to be used. Um, and so um, kind of my, short slash medium term plans are to uh, kind of continue developing this thing. Um, 
applying for uh, millions of fellowships just to see if I can um, continue. Um, I'd love to stay at UCLA and continue uh, kind of developing inventions and um, then, you know, maybe spin it out into a company or um, maybe go to the, to the academic market. And that's kind of um, still on the table for me, but depends on where, <laughs> you know. Well, I wish you the best for that. That's wonderful. And Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's always great to have uh, something tangible that's come out of all your hard work. Yeah. I, yeah, I just, how wonderful. Yeah. yeah thank you. Uh, so, so what is this fellowship meant for you? Did, did it mean anything to you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it meant a ton to me, actually. Um, I was... Actually, when I when I saw the call for applications in my in my inbox, I saw the name Ben Bars. Or did you pronounce it differently? Did or, that's that's good. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I saw the name Ben Bars, and uh, and um, immediately I obviously uh, knew who he was. And the reason that I knew who he was was um, that one of my best friends um, from grad school. Um, Actually, during kind of, uh, you know, I, I came out relatively recently. I came out in 2017. Um, and as trans, I um, <laughs> should say, um, I came out as trans uh, uh, in 2017. And um, my friend kind of, I don't know if he detected uh, or just saw this book, you know, he works up at Stanford. He saw this, he knew of Ben Bars. He, um, he saw the autobiography of a transgender scientist, which is um, Ben Bars book. Uh, and he sent it to me and um, I took a lot of solace in reading it um, because I think uh, it, he, or Ben Bars at least, um, kind of summed up the, um, Kind of the some of my views on uh, on academia, um, coming from um, somebody who I don't know uh, is has had to operate um, on kind of a different level. Uh, just I think I think adding the perspective of, tra of transness. Um, changes the, the overall calculus and the overall kind of landscape that you're looking at when you're looking at academia. And, um, and I think kind of, especially um, his work on um, gender equality and, um, you know, sexual, uh, addressing sexual harassment in, uh, in academia, which, you know, I have um, witnessed and, uh, you know, it's, um, and I think, I think it's just a really, I think that he is like the, he really embodies what I kind of strive to be in science, um, which is somebody who, you know, obviously is excellent um, at the craft, but is sufficiently kind of giving and is, is sufficiently, um, nurturing towards towards uh, mentees um, you know and, and really trying to uh, get at the kind of the, the joy of science and kind of stepping away from maybe some of the more traditional structures that have um, typified uh, the, the field uh, yes, um, for a very long time um, you know uh, you know, and addressing kind of male-dominated structures, addressing cis-dominated structures, hetero-dominated structures, and kind of, and trying to um, trying to implement change uh, within the system. I think I I really um, yeah I just drew a lot of inspiration, and uh, and that book came to me uh, at yeah a pretty difficult time I would say. <laughs> so um, it was. Yeah, it's just really helpful. Really, it means a lot to me to, to get this fellowship, basically. Well, I'm really glad we were able to provide that for you. And, and I think you were a great representative for it. Mm -hmm. And I just wish you the best for everything that you're going to be doing. And 
you know, more power to you. Just you. keep going. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you. Appreciate it.